Imagine World War II, chaos everywhere. Now, who think of that as an opportunity? Let me introduce you to John Gokongwe Jr. Born into luxury, his dad owned Cebu's fanciest theaters. He basically grew up with privilege until he turned 13. In 1939, his father passed away, leaving the family in financial ruins. Everything was seized, homes, theaters, in the whole Chudang. In one of his stories, he recounted how a former employee let him and his brother inside the theater they used to own, only for the new owner to catch him and kick them out, and basically banned them from the place. His mother, once part of high society, ended up cooking peanuts for him to sell through peddling his bicycle. Then he'd end up peddling candles, soaps, and jewelry to neighboring towns and eventually neighboring provinces. But at the brink of World War II, everyone didn't have money. There was no more high society whatsoever. John is quoted to say, war was the great equalizer. Everyone started from zero, armed only with their wits. So aside from the usual products, he would be used by American and Philippine soldiers to smuggle cigarettes, money, and other resources using his bike under the nose of the occupying Japanese soldiers. The ploy worked. By the war's end, he'd turned up his tireless peddling into a small fortune. At just 20 years old in 1940, he had 40,000 pesos. That's equivalent to roughly 8 million pesos today. Thanks to his smarts and hard work. Out of hard times came Amasha Trading, his first company importing American products. Today, Gokongwe's children and family own one of the biggest conglomerates in the Philippines, JG Summit Holdings Inc. Some of the well-known companies include URC, you know, maker of Chippy, Jack and Jill, C2, Cebu Pacific, and Robinson's Land. Now, this is not to say that you should wish for a disaster to take advantage of. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that when life throws challenges, Remember John Gokongwe, a man who turned adversity into opportunity. You can find an opportunity anytime. With John Gokongwe, he just dared to be better.